I'm in, guys. Hello, everyone. Just basically, you need one driver to spawn. Rabbit will join in a second. Full grid today! Almost because Tobob is not in. Because he cannot, okay? He told me, no third unreported abstention. He is still in the F1 division, but I think to move him into a reserve. Maybe until, until he will be able to race finally. About the Mercedes drivers, good luck and have fun, Mikori and Jody, as they are in our Apex Online Racing F3 division on PS4 right now. So they unfortunately had to become the reserves in our F1 league. So we got two new Dutchmen here, it's Willem Penoza and Thierry Boydert who will race in Mercedes. Just waiting for uh, Bunny Rabbit who has already two more minutes. Bought up that game. Okay, stream started so I maybe will... Okay. Let's go with making the thumbnail in the description because it will help me a lot. Because the stream is already on. Why there are only three likes on the previous stream? I don't know. But! Come on, the race is about to start. I need to switch the account. I need. Okay, where is the Bun Rabbit? Four new notifications, very nice. Hmm. Where is Bun Rabbit? We need him. John, okay. Works. Now give me the thumbnail. It's an hour, one rabbit. He didn't even boot up himself. He's F1, I mean. He said joining, but he's not in. Okay, we will delay start probably, but just a bit. Okay, it works. Basically, works. If I could leave Ben off today, I would tell more about the F2 race because I wasn't there, unfortunately. Okay, I just I'll just click the spectate button after inviting Ben Rabbit once again. Okay. Just invite people to the broadcast. Because we're waiting for Banner Rabbit. I know I can't sing. But I'm not serious today. I'm mad like always. <laughs> and I will be mad today, I hope. Okay. It's an hour, Bun Rabbit. Okay, people will wake slowly ready up. I need just to check if he's putting up the game. No. Just one more minute or two and we will start. Now collect people to the broadcast. We need like 10 watching. I just need to check out if he's booting up.
Ok. You may like click to trigger, but finally there are people and I'm just talking if we should move. Okay, deadline is on 5 minutes after the 6 p.m. What about changing the host? Ah, access a host that we had lax. Okay, 13 seconds to start because we will not care anymore after that. Okay. Let's go, 5 p.m. Let's go. 16 drivers ready, 19 on the grid. We know that one rabbit has updated. He will come in race, I hope. Super welcome. Okay, let's go, let's go. Just smashed it. I can. <laughs> yeah, Mati PI123. Uh, then Verlepte Kurikat. Okay. <laughs> no, man, no. Just no. 19 drivers in the grid. Okay, just trying to see someone join the Discord. Team GD Silver F1. Okay, very nice. Stream is on. We are just waiting for guy to pick the tires. Okay, lobby. Whoa, working. Very nice job. Okay, I have just a little bit of water and I think that we will not get any more water because there's dry weather on the quali. What about the race? I need an F1 driver uh, to write the conditions for the race. Okay, what about the reserve drivers? Van Rabbit is at end no, for, for now. But about the reserves, that's only Lexa. And Racing Point. And I see that one Mercedes. It's Thierry Boy that is getting out of the garage. Yes, I'm right. Hello, Hoffman. I'm faster than Max Rule. You may challenge him once after the... No, he has a FF1 CL after this race. Maybe on the Saturday or Sunday. Wait, why Sunday? Another day. I'm just gonna see the all messages, not only the top chat. So eight people watching this broadcast is very nice result. Okay, let's go to the drivers that are on track. Alan for is the first one probably. Yes, yes. No, it's Gniewko, better than him. And even Jasper overtook him. Okay. So let me go to the driver settings. Mm, it's F1 drivers, yes. Okay, so currently we have a very nice fight because Alenvor is leading the championship, 64 points he has, Max Schroh is 
second in the standings having 62 points after only six points on France if he didn't have that result he would actually win the race uh, no lead the standing sorry my bad okay let me turn on everything like telemetry update that track map Bitte. and continuing the standings Luke is another championship contender with 52 points currently after four races he didn't start in Monaco this probably damaged his uh, his, uh, his gap like he would have less points than he has now gap you have two max row okay I know my English is not nice 39 points has Mikulitsi, but he's a reserve from now on. Only one podium in Monaco. 39 points. 37 points has the good guy, but he declared that he will race without any assists, you know? This is going to be harsh, because no one chance for the top four. But Plazable has chance, because he has 31 points, and Jasper has 30 points, and Axe has 29 points, and Ginger has 25 points, and then we have nothing, because it's because nothing because then there is I say with 12 points and then we have normal drivers at least 10 points fun fact I say scored points only once it was before in Monaco hello the wax welcome in the extravaganda very nice hello okay any interesting things on the quality Jasper goes first so we are following him like who do you think will win this Grand Prix today we have so many contenders, we have Alan Vor, we have Max Rowe, Luke, Good Guy, Plausible, Jasper, Axel, maybe even Drunkenstein will win, or Ferrari in his homeland. Ferrari who was going for a P2 and, or at least a podium in Canada, then Wall of Champions, Wall of Champions. Just booting up some TV. Okay, before Jasper will finish the wrap, I do, I'm gonna tell you the constructor standings. It's 91 points for McLaren, 71 for Racing Point. 68 for Red Bull, 54 for Ferrari, 43 for Renault, 39 for Mercedes, which changed the squad today. Let's see Jasper's lap time in the Gniewko. Jasper 144.1, Gniewko is faster with 144.0, Ferrari only a few thousandths of a second uh, slower than Jasper. Allen goes first with 143.0, one second ahead. Guy at 144.5, Jaren is finishing, they see McLaren coming to the line. Anything changes, I guess it's Red Bull on the second, it's the good guy 144.0, but Oliver is a second faster, Max goes second with 143.2, Luke is third 143.7. Jaren finishes it up, he comes for 143.6, William Penazo has invited it, Ezax finishes, he's fifth! With 133.9, very nice result by the Latvian, whose best result is P6 three times in S1. This is the one it was. Plaza will now finishes the lap, but it's also Drunkenstein who goes 14. The last invited result, a valid result. I say stand. What about Plaza? Bunny Rabbit has joined the lobby, so he will start from the other back of the grid, from 20th place. Plaza goes first. Third with 143.4. Nuruza has invited at lap time. Lexa is on the out lap. Benoza also has invited it. His teammate Thierry Baudet is, by the way, 13th with 144.3. May I finally go to the constructors? I hope I can. Mm, okay, nice start between the Przemysl, Suave, and Pugitar. Let's go to the constructor sending finally. I was finishing on Mercedes, I need to rewrite something. I know something may happen on the track anyway this time. Okay. Done. Okay, 39 points for Mercedes, 30 points for Williams, and then we have two teams with only 6 points this season. It's Toroso and Haas, and the last one is Alfa Romeo, Nurz and Jiren together collected only 5 points this season. Okay, Thierry Boyd is just, I guess pushing with the second lap in the row. No, it's over 2 minutes, okay, never mind. Next another invalidated, Nurz invalidated, Penos invalidated. Not epic for them. Now everyone is coming straight to the pits. 
Ok, Jordan, watch out, watch out, ok. Anyone's making the hot lap? I guess maybe Drunken Snake trying, but he's not. Because he has 145.3, so if the three drivers, three last drivers will make the lap, he will be probably last, of course, if they will not spin. Uh, Libanov, because you're in the chat, why you describe shortly the race on F2? Because I don't remember it exactly. I just know there were like one safety car, virtual safety cars. Not thank you because I'm not a woman. Uh, <laughs> but continuing, one safety car, three virtual safety cars. You are P4. This is a second. Who won? Pure fantasy, yes. Any more, any more details about that? And changeable conditions. That's right. I have just over 10 minutes to go. Let's see tires. Good by drivers. Only drunk. Okay, only Drunkenstein and Penosa tried mediums, but I guess they will try softs, yes. Because Drunkenstein has no put softs. Don't talk about... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I have... I now reminded about the Yorush, where everyone got... got crushed, literally. Even Otapa, who was going on the podium, then dropped into fifth. Crashed into Yorush. Okay. That's Radeon, actually, but who cares. Let's see Nurul's lap time, it's P4, very top time with 143.4. Lexa, another invalidated. Let's see, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hello, many people watching this uh, live stream, so thank you very much and I hope you will stay till the end of the race because it's Belgian Grand Prix. And I have to race, I know, because I watched it, I watched it when I was out of home. It was very exciting race. Hope in this tire, in this tier, we get even more interesting one. Lex was very cr so close to crash into the bar you there. Okay, who started the hot lap? It's Ferrari. Okay. Lex, I will probably go to the garage. I'm right. Okay, so two VSC, one SC, top five. Fantasy, Vilzu, Dex, me, Libanov. Jim Strap, change the conditions, Jura, screw up, lots of DNS cool race. Well, I agree with you. How was Gniewko commentating, by the way? Anyone knows? <laughs> 12 people watching the broadcast, very nice result. Our record is 25 people watching the final race in season 2 in Brazil, where we had three title contenders Jordi, Luke, and Jasper. Luke won at the end, Luke won at the end, but Jody won the Brazilian Grand Prix, but Luke was the champion, very nice. Honestly, I'm watching Gniewko, who is left to commentator, but about the season to race, 25 people, I remember this one, Brazilian Grand Prix safety car, which was rare then, because there was no update for the safety cars. Is it Zaxi just ahead? No, he just started a lot. It's Jasper, yes. He's now pushing with the hot lap, so let's watch him as he was fed last season. The top three from the driver's standings had all a bad race. What about the F2 standings, I can remind you. With the time. Yura is still reading with 64 points, and then we have Dex with 56 points. 51 points has Horseman, 41 versus 40 Matt. By the way, what a traffic we have from P1 to P13, which is me. 64 points has Yura, and I have 20 points, and I'm P13. Actually, <laughs> I don't know what will go, what will, what will happen during the F2 season. Okay, Jasper finishing the lap, and he's putting into. He didn't improve himself, unlike Nevko, who is now ahead of Enzak. Okay. I see also some people already finished, like Axe, who is P5. And Max Joe improved our world's lap time to make P1. It's 142.8, but now it's Allenworth crossing the line, and he did it, beat Max. It's only 132.9. I see someone did the lap. Is it I say? I don't know. Or Javier? Javier finished. 144.0. Penosa invalidated. 
Lexa somehow is on Delta. Okay, never mind. Yeah, looks like sector two and sector three. I saw good guy coming into third place. Where's now Edzax? Is he going to beat his teammates? No, because he's costing to the pit. Possible too. Okay, it's Mercedes now finishing the lap. It's Willem. But there's Renault just behind. It's Gaet. Okay. Now he's crossed through the bus stop. And he is now 8th, 143.7. By the way, about the, uh, about the F2 standings between 6th pace then and 13th, it's only 17 point gap. How? Just how? <laughs> okay. And anyway, the top 10 is Yure, Dex, Houseman, Vilzu, Timat, Space and Champ, Jimstrap, Natick and Hibeno. Outside, also people like Title Contenders? Fires to Trial, Pure Fantasy and Voitinho, it's me actually. Then we have Brett, Gui Guir, Jair, Energy Boost, V8 Field, Otapa and Lupus. That's all the top, that's all the 20 drivers who scored points this season in F2. By the way, look, made 4th place, 133.3, we just missed that. Also, I say, went ahead of his teammate, who is now finishing the lap. No, no, it's Red Bull Mercedes, it's probably good guy, but he's not pushing. Because now the closest, Renault. It's Gaet or I say. I know I'm switching through the drivers a lot, but just trying to see what's going on. Okay, let's follow Lexa because he's on the hop lap. And about the standings, let's go back to F1. I'm not gonna tell you because I told you like five times. Okay, I just wanna. Don't let us. You are a woman! <laughs> yeah. I can't watch Libano. Basically, there are F2 streams on this channel, so you still can watch Libano. By the way, you have to be four in Constructors' Championship, so we can lead them in field. Maybe. Lexa finally finished his lap, but it's much worse than most drivers at 146.2. Michael stands of the out lap. By the way, we have only 3 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Nice number, Junkenstein. Anyway, where, where we can move? Because everyone is on the pits or out lap. Drivers are putting their tires. Okay, we'll watch Junkenstein, because why not? I was warming up, but I can't hear him. Maybe a little of you will stream. Yeah, I, I have heard you are making live streams, because why not? Okay. So, what I can say, it's time to collect the drivers. I just need to write something to Bunny Rabbit. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. So, yeah. I see trackers that started the lap, nine people watching the broadcast, and I've seen some new messages. Oh, it's foot time, bye, bye. Hope you'll come back as soon as possible for the race start, for example. Because why not? Drunkerstein is currently on the main straight. It's not Camel Straight. The Camel Straight is that slight right turn, right handed turn. After Radion just knew that uh, from WTF1 in 20 back to 2017, just remember this fact. Drunker State is only his soft tires. Let's see, everyone is on the softs right now, everyone is pushing. I don't only know why Lexa is doing. Third lap, or actually fourth on the soft tires. Most of the drivers are out laps. Drunkenstein is about to be first to finish the lap. 
I think he will break that 145. He has. Yes, he's improved by 7 tenths. I would turn on now the overtake mode, by the way. He does it. But on the hot lap mode. Okay, it's bus stop chicane. Last corn last two corners. He finishes the lap. Putting on DRS. And 144.6, so he's not even going to improve his 17th place. And it's William Penosa on the hot lap which might beat him from the PC-17 and he will start from one of the last. What is going on on the first corner? Drangenstein Riktight, okay, now I know because there were so many people there. Okay, some people are starting to lap. I see Ferrari into P6, 143.24. Wow, Lexa 145.5. But at least he can pick new tires. Well, and Panosa, another invalidated. Ferrari retired from the session and qualifying session is ended. Maxwell has the fastest sector two currently. But we will see Nurus and Giro, and as they are the first ones to finish the lap. He's now into the RS zone. One of the Mercedes at Steel Boy that comes to the pit. Zero and finishes seven. Nuruza will not finish the lap. Max repeats himself with 142.6. And there is another Mercedes, but Spinoza who has invalidated. But what about Javier? I say also retired from the session. No more chance for him to improve his 10th place. Okay, it's Luke coming crossing the line. Jasper, another one who retired. And it's not even improved. Also good guy retired. Plaza Momo is about to cross the line, but now let's see Axe. And he comes 8th. What about Javier? Stays 13th. 14th. And Zax is not going to improve his lap time. What about Plaza Ball? Almost spun. And he's not beating himself. And extra time from the session. Now only legs out his invited lap time. Very nice qualifying session, by the way. Very nice. Max throw on the pole. Legs are tired. Very smart. Not wasting time for, for the quality. We will see the official results. I mean. Okay, we've seen some first in T10. Couldn't see this one. What about the standings of the quality? Only 44 tiles of a second Allen were missed to beat Max Rowe. Then by half of a second is losing a good guy. Third place. Fourth place has Luke. Then we have Plasma on the fifth place. Sixth is Ferrari. Seventh is Jerowen. Eighth is Axe. Ninth is New Loser. Then you have Guy closing the top 10. Gniewko is also on the one second gap. With the pole position, then we have Eyesight, Alex, Javier, Jasper, Terry Boy, that Drunkenstein, Lexa, and William Penosa without the lap time. Now let's go to the race. Bunny Rabbit is racing. Okay, no rain but cloudy. So I guess it may rain. But I didn't get any information. Okay, let's do something. Done. Very nice. The drivers are putting the strategy, so I just wait. Full grid, full grid. Ban Rabbit joined, even though he's last. Okay, I'll go for a second because I need to clear the water bottle from the, my desktop. My desk. It's formation lab, so no worries. 3, 2, 1.
Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Don't worry about me. I'm I'm here. No need to leave, no need to. Anyone stayed on the formation lap? No. I need to turn this up op these options. Back on. Thank you. Oh, the strategies. I would forget. I would forget. So I sign Ed Sachs, Jesper, Terry Boyd, the Drunkenstein and William Penosa. Six drivers on the medium tires. Rest is on soft. Very interesting tactics. It's like some drivers from the back put the soft Ula Brita is cool. Yeah I I'm I agree with you. By the way, the question to you is, for, is uh, if Ferrari is going to score first points this race, finally this season, because he has potential, it's his home race, he has to score some points, I mean. Um, by the way, if someone is interested in football, my first message on the Facebook board is that. Manchester United won against Manchester City. Just, just a thing, just to, just a fun fact. And weren't Max Rafael to come back to the main, to the start, finish straight? Where is fun? Whoa! So many people are blocking each other. It's plausible doing the traffic. I'm again here. Very nice. Okay, plausible is classified as the line. What about plausible? I don't know. He's finally coming back to the main straight. Let's head to Max Row because he's finally leading. As a fun fact, I yeah, he won Monaco. I just wanted to say that he didn't win. He didn't win a race this season, but he won in Monaco. My bad. But good guy didn't score the podium this season. So now it's his chance because he qualified third. But is it going to be between Max Rowe or Alan Vore? Or good guy or Luke or plausible Ferrari who's gonna win this start? It slides out and away we go. And Max Rowe does a pretty good start, even the lightning one. And now he's first. As no plus, Alan Vore has to defend against good guy. Good guy comes second. As, as we can see, also, there's so many drivers being pushed out of the track. At the back, it's William Penosa already with a damage, I guess. So, and now drivers are coming to the your rouge. Maxo comes calmly. Anvor is fighting wheel to wheel. Gniewko spun. Yes, this is his spin. And Axel overtook his former teammate from season one. Ed Zax. No, Anvor tries to go second. And let's see this one. Anvor back to the second place. Currently Ferrari lost two places, but at least overtook Axe back, so he's now 8th. It wasn't the worst start in our league, with much bigger, kind of just like season 2 British Grand Prix F1. What about the back? Van Rabbit already made 5 places up. He's now just behind Thierry Boyd and his teammate Jasper. Also guy it will try to find some... Okay, Van Rabbit overtook. He put it from the Pujon exit. Now Plasmable has, has hot lap mode and he has slipstream. But look also suffers. Okay, Drunkenstein is out. He just crashed at the beginning of the sector 3. And we have virtual safety car, just realized. Okay. So basically, how the look, how the grid is looking right now? It's not this one, but detail. Okay, Jeremy loser both gained the position. Action loser two positions up. Ferrari one pos two positions down. One position down for Axe. Ezek two positions up, but Van Rabbit has now the greatest start as he's did done six positions up. Gniewko and Willem Penosa using the virtual safety car to put the new front wing. By the way, 
Chick is a glitch. Double front wings. Okay, back to racing. Where's Ty's safe put? Hard for Will and Penosa. Minions for Gnefko. And Max is calling me escaping from everyone. Honorable second, good guy fight will have to fight Luke and his teammate Plaza Ball. You have Jero and the loser. Axe fights with Ferrari. Get great overtake there. And to the happen. By the way, did you realize that we have from P2 to P7 all the Dutchmen? Just in case. Just as a fun fact. 12 people watching this broadcast. Invite more. Okay, very nice result by the way. It's reported that the legs are both out of the track. We'll fight for the 16th. But no one over but no one did a move. Guys touch the gravel right now. He might have little damage if he goes like this. Plausible now into fast or very close to touch look. Now it's lap 3 static so DRS enabled I guess. Okay everyone is doing the faster lap than Max row. No loser 2 axe. Wow. Ferrari not but Jesper makes it. And I guess no one more. DRS is enabled. Officially. So we will have to see the one first DRS here. Used during this Grand Prix. Like the major one because we will not care about Allen for and Max losing having about the second gap. But look is faster than good guy here, but not enough to overtake. Same as possible. Guy that does it on Exact to get 12 10th place. Alpha Brothers finally doing some pace, sixth and seventh. Some good results as they're very struggling at the beginning of the season. Let's see if Isa is able to overtake Jasper. Look, look overtaken by Plausible, by the way. Another position, and he spun! And the Pohan corner. Now he has to watch out to not crash to anyone. It was very close with his teammate Javier. Also overtaken by. Thierry Boyd, he comes back on track on the 16th place, but fortunately I guess he has no damage. Anvil and Max already escaped a lot from the other drivers. Over 2 seconds gap from between them and the good guy. Now Ajax is trying to defend from Jasper, Jasper is much faster and in this trade and he has DRS also same as Edzax because he has it on Gaiet by the way what's let's watch uh, Axe versus Nuruzer oh oh no the top the top two battle between Max and Allen for Max doesn't have DRS Allen for pushes at all and he's taking the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix on the lap 4. Also Guide has promised yellow flag. He somehow came back on track. And Javier is also overtaking Van Rabbit very easily. And that's very close to Jasper. Jasper overtook it, I guess. Also Javier is gone! He's crashed! And we have safety car! 5 second time penalty for Bad Rabbit for the collision with Javier and this makes the full safety car in the lap 4 so <laughs> Libanov can we compare it to the F2 drive through penalty for Luke for speeding on the safety car he was trying to push to get as much as he can disaster for Ferrari again disaster for Javier how many points did he score here? She's only two in Canada. This is so damn weird. Okay, it's, by the way, it's time to promote this live stream. F, F's on the chat for Javier. 
another penalty I saw, but I couldn't see. Maybe you could see. It's no loser driver penalty, okay. Maxro and Alvor are going to the petty trolley. Everyone is coming to the petty except the loser who will take the lead now. Also Ferrari and Axe and Jasper. And Axe is not coming to the pit so he'll probably go second. Yes, he will do the second place now. Most of the drivers are in the pits. Van Rabbit goes fourth, Cherry Boy that goes fifth. Anvil Max are coming back to the track on sixth and seventh. Edzax is second now. The results leading I say third. So this is how the how this comes after the massive pit massive pit stop time. Okay guys. Okay, this last one to come back to the track now. Pierre and Penosa may both may uh, catch the left of the grid. Already most of the drivers. I win. Yes, top eight. They are going so slow. Most of the drivers have picked hearts. I need to check the strategies. Only top five didn't make a pit stop. So most driver so it's between mediums and hearts. It's equal. Iron War, Mark okay, three guys, four, five, six, seven, eight on mediums, and one, two, three, four, five and on hearts. So most drivers are on mediums and hearts. Excluding the top five, of course. Toro Rosso, <laughs> second place at the last. Does Gniewko have a wing damage? No. So basically, Harvard's crash, uh, the road safety got to come in. These guys are incredible. All the time you have to leave the space. Well, what happened by the way? I just seen that Ban Rabbit got the 5 second time penalty for crashing with you. Or collision with you. That's interesting. Okay. Lexa. On the 15th fly, some promotion he did. And most of the drivers are losing a big. <laughs> and Ban Rabbit 16 pushes up. What if he would win the race today? By the way, any penalties we got, after, we got a lot, but I put the uh, two drive throughs and two five second time penalty. I agree. And I love the safety car. No loser is coming to the pit, and he's probably waste his strategy because he could stay there on the first place, maybe. But now he's going to be way at the back. I guess it will be last place. No, because it's William Penosa also heading to the pits. By what? But why? The new front wing? No. I don't know. Naruto is coming back on track on the 14, 15th place. No, he's 14. But he probably overtook Lexa. But he could because it's pit lane. I overtook the guy in the main street and I just could... What? Just report it! Anyway, I need to say you the miracle. Edzax is leading the race. Just to remind you, Edzax is leading the race. And Van Rabbit is on the podium because I say on the podium is like, it happens. Sometimes. She avoided his fall. I will max for 5th and 6th. Good guy, Jerome is very slow, same as for same as you try everyone and access with the top 10. Who's gonna win this race after the safety car? Who's going to take the best one? The best result. By the way, are we going to see the Giga Edzax like in Russia season 2? Where he was blocking dr every driver for the first 8 laps of the race. This could be interesting. And then he beats for softs this race today. Okay, DN is for top up only. And I can actually write DNFs for Drunkenstein. It's his first DNF this season. 
and Javier. Okay, I got another invitation. Well, I don't know why. Well, another lobby. So two drivers have no DNF. And safety car is in this lap, guys. That is broken in quality. Literally an F. Okay. Let's see how Edzax will calculate the restart to protect his lead ahead of Isai, Banu Rabbit and Tier Boided. And also Alvord Max will try to attack literally anywhere just to fight for the victory in this race. Because I are predicted to do. So Edzax. Sensational leader again, but he he was sometimes on the lead. But oh, Ban Rabbit has collision five seconds with so with Isai. Also Ferrari goes with that. So many penalties out there, but we are restarting the race. It's again green flags. Let's go. It's Edzax just on the lead ahead of Isai. Then you have Ban Rabbit carry avoided another first second penalty for Ferrari. It's for speeding in the pit lane. So very interesting, also plausible overtakes Jasper. Gaet is trying to find some space to overtake. Looks like Nefko was very close to crash into Renault and also lost the place to Willem Penosa. Now it's between Edzax or Isai into the comb. Isai is close to touch but not enough. Another overtakes to avoid that. Now he's blocking himself from now the theory by that is blocking Alvaro from Max Row. As he's between them. Right ahead of the loser. Axel trying to find some space to overtake Jero and Max is much faster than Mercedes. Mercedes is out of the track. But it doesn't help him. Because he's still ahead. Ice is half of a second. He can't also access overtaking Jero and very nice one. Also plausible does it on the alpha. Not enough. Maybe this time. Okay, we are going to get a full <laughs> four white battle between Jero and plausible Jasper and Luke. It's even not enough space, they touched between Jasper and Luke. Fortunately, no one gets out of the race. It just happened. Jero in the pits. Flexa, three second time penalty. Now Ban Rabbit. My Rabbit tried to look some, some, some space because he's overtaken by Allenburg. I say, is he going to be faster than Ezra on this straight? He came out much faster on, from Yorush Radion than the Latvian. It's time to overtake or not. Going to the inside line. Making the move into first place. He's now leading the race. Also Maxro finally dealt. Not dealt with Terry Boyd. He's still slowing the Frenchman down. Oliver only use on it because he escapes from the Frenchman. The good guy also watches this battle. It's like eating popcorn, <laughs> we can say. Maxus, three times to look for some space. To find to overtake your boy that it was very close for them to touch each other. What's going on the back? No, is way behind. That's all. <laughs> okay. Anvor is now trying to get into second place, but we know what Edzax did in Russia. He's not going to give up now. What about Max? He's much faster than Thierry Boy, that. He's even breaking just not to crash into the Dutchman. Now he tries to move on the outside. Also, Anvor deals with. Edzak, so is he's now second. What about Maxro? He's still behind. Maybe this time to the inside line? No. But now Thierry Boyd does a mistake! He's hitting the curb and this causes him losing two places. 
because it's Maestro now fifth and good guy sixth. Also, it was very close to touch and crash probably in the ear rush. Fortunately, it didn't happen. Good guy is coming six now. Just behind Maestro. So used on it. Axel overtaken by oh, Axel overtook plausible. Okay, so let's go now to the battle for the eighth place because it's plausible just behind. And he's not losing that much. Just came out of the track, but he didn't lose on it. Max is now close to Van Rabbit. He now has to overtake the Brit if he wants to finally catch Allenworth or rely on Isai. I said Giga Isai, like Giga Edzax, as I said, to get ahead of the Dutchman, the title contender. Max are much faster than Van Rabbit here. Now they're coming to the bus stop. Max through late breaking. Just enough to overtake the Brit. And he gets P5 also. Van Rabbit. The pit has spun. Finally he goes to the pit somehow. But he just made a spin. Now only 13. He would came back on. But he could came to the pit on the top, but he's now in the back. Max throw much faster than Edzax, but Allen Rover takes ice eye. Max throw, okay, just result on the Iarush Radion. He spun and yes, 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 yes. Safety cut again, just for crash on the Iarush. That's it about the race for him I mean <laughs> what's going on guy drive for penalty for speeding on the safety car wow wow just wow another safety car and now Max is like the winner of it because he will get closer to Allen for and I wonder if Ice is coming to the pits well, he has also old medium, so maybe. Okay, just need to see Javier's on board. Why he crashed. Overtake. Hope nothing is happening, I guess. There is a little lag. Oh, maybe there was a touch. Danno fatale. Okay, lap 11 is starting, so we have half of the race now. Ice is coming to the pits. Max is very close now to the Allen, to the Dutchman and racing point. This fight is now going to be so epic. Also, Axel is third. Penosa goes 5th, very nice indeed. Niev goes 6th, Guy 4th, another pit stop time. Plasmable stuck by his teammate, look coming to the pit. What about Jeroen? Not going, Ferrari not going, Van Rabbit I guess not. Like I said, loser way behind, but they are winners of the safety car, because they will finally get closer. Okay, now this race is gonna be epic. Just let's follow. Okay, two McLaren is in the second and third. Currently, Torosso six and eight. Very nice result. Let me advertise it again.
Ok. Ok. When the safety car going to go back to the pit? I don't know, but maybe one more lap, just to wait for Norris and Lexa. Okay, plausible fights <laughs> with Ferrari. I don't know who else ahead. Plausible ahead, so it's okay. It's all okay. No, it is coming very fast. So what I can say, second half of the race is going to be so damn good. Get in the pit, same as Gniewko. Which test drivers are putting by the way. I just realized that I need to check this out. Some drivers have during the two stops, it's ice sign and it's on the heart. Soft and for good guy and boy dead. But mediums got plasma ball, look on soft. Same as Gaet and Gniewko. That's it, everybody. This race is gonna be so damn good. Especially with Lampanoza and that on the 4th and that on 6th. Okay, I bought it the 7th, by the way. So Mercedes has a good replacement. And two drivers are on the point right now. Who's now going to win the race? <laughs> that is the question. For you, the chat. Plus ball again, fighting with Ferrari for no actual reason on the safety car. Okay, plus ball is again slowing down everyone. But please stay ahead of Ferrari. <laughs> okay, plausible letting by. Is just messing around. I just wanted to say it's not that legal, mate. Let's go. Let's go normally under the safety car. I need, by the way, to check out. Is it going to go back to the pit, this lap? I, I guess one more lap why it's not going I guess it's in this lap however it's in this lap lap 13 is going to start without safety car Maxers and Axe are already trying to close down to Allen for as much as possible. Okay, good guys warming up. Very close, it's between Allen and Max Row. Everyone is very close, by the way, so another time for the fight. If you crashed somewhere and had to change the front wing, you're not a loser. Okay. So again, we're restarting the race. It's Alan Vore on the first place, very close between him and Max Row. He's again doing the same thing as in Canada. But now we go. And he's ahead of Max Row, Axe and William Pedosa. Ice is now already trying to attack the Mercedes. But it's not done well. Also. Good guy will take Jerome and John Rabbit does it on plus and ball and he's faster than the Dutchman. Let's see what they're gonna do. Fortunately, no crash. Ferrari is watching this battle. Let's see because it's for that one point and he's now about to do the double overtake. Let's see if he can do that. Late braking. Still wheel to wheel. Again, they're going finally done it into 10th place. 
but also the Ban Rabbit goes to the inside, getting back the 10th place. They are going free white. Okay, Ban Rabbit is back. Ferrari ahead of Plasmal, St still gain one position. Also, Lexa has some problems with his last now. Well, Death Trant. It's Anvar ahead of Microsoft, just going peacefully. Look, fighting with Plaza Ball for the 12th place. They touched. Fortunately, no damage for each other. But Plaza Ball was another place. Now he's just ahead of Nurloser. Okay, good guys, very close to Edzax. Some lags we can see, but somehow he overtakes the Latvian. For the position 6. Also, Sector 3 yellow flags. Thank you, Nurloser crashed. Where well, it's here. <laughs> I really cannot. I really cannot. <laughs> Third safety car. We didn't even done one full lap under the SC. A bit without SC, sorry guys. What is going on here? Explain me. I mean I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> Where does See this race, come on! <laughs> Ferrari fight! Somehow look is ahead of Ferrari, I don't know why. This race is so damn weird. Okay, let me just mention over 100 people. What's going on here? Safety! That's it! How many points do losers call this season? 5. It's also alpha, because Nurgeron has still no points. Maybe this time! Maybe today. He's ninth right now. What's going on? I mean... Impossible. Just another Australia. Okay, it's Ferrari again doing the same thing with Plasm Ball. And he's overtaken. Okay, he was ahead. I don't know why the game did that. Water safety car waiting before the Yorush. Okay. I advertise the stream and people are leaving. It's only five now. Four! Why? That's so weird. They just disappear. Just quoting PewDiePie. Okay, another pit stop time for Maxro, Axe, Penosa and Lexa. Let me go out for a second. It's lap 15 now, Jero and... <laughs> And with wing damage, no more comments, he has to pit now. He has to come to the pits. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. I get no more comments about this race. Can't wait for another Allen restart. What if he will come to the pits? Another really smart for him and not smart for the rest. Why people are overtaking each other on the SC? I don't know, maybe it's lag. A plasma ball is ahead of Ferrari. What the traffic. I mean... How many seconds is the last driver losing to the leader? 11. 9. <laughs> What is the fastest upcoming? It's Allenbro with that one additional point. 
he already it's max for getting this one for the pole position safety car if possible just come in this lap it's enough we have traffic so damn okay and we're almost out of the track we're doing no more laps under the safety car. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Very nice job. SC. Five second time penalty for collision with Plaza Ball for Ferrari. Okay. Let's see having damage. I guess slight one. Let's check this out. Really. Oh, maybe let's go back to the lead because they're far ahead. Far away. And as you can see, no rain we have. Okay, how many VSCs or SCs are going to come back to the race after this restart? Again, Oliver is doing this. Ban Rabbit is out. He crashed before the bus stop. Now we're heading to the restart. Oliver again doing the same thing. It's it's back to the green flags. Some drivers coming to the pit, Gaet, actually only one, I see still going second, but good guy is just behind his back. Jordan three second time penalty. Yeah, again he does it, he, again he did it. The good guy is now much faster than I see, I see a few kilometers per hour. He has more than the Italian, now he can go inside line, he does it! The late launch, but... Too late to overtake I see they even touched, but somehow the good guy is ahead. Ignat okay. <laughs> Safety car? I think because Ferrari crashed. <laughs> okay, only yellow side in sector one and two. But I mean At least we see. As you can see Terry Boy is much faster than Isaac because of this in the heart. No more safety cars now. Are not going to be. Three seconds of time penalty for multiple warnings for William Penosa. Has having another disaster. Ferrari had another chance of points, another DNF. Okay, Van Rabbit, if possible, stop, ri stop writing. Finish it after the race. Finish your fault. Okay, Max is that much faster. Break so much before. Okay, Max is ahead of Luke. And he's got 3 second time penalty. Anwar is now going to win this race, I mean. I try not to disqualify from the from one him from one race just to make jump shit. But more exciting! It's Chero and another spin. Another wing damage. And fastest up for one of the McLarens. I guess it's Max Row. We have now Thierry Boydet and Ezax behind, ahead of him. Is he going to overtake both? Ezax with free skydive penalty, much slower on the Yorush Radion. Thierry Boydet is about to overtake the Latvian for the fourth place. He's now successfully setting Giga Ezax. As you can see, Ferrari left the session. They are trying to fight for the... Three people are going to fight for the third place and Boydet has no damage from Twig. He's crashing into Toro Rosso, what's going on here? Another safety car! Jeroen is out of the race, what's going on here? I can't say it's fully Jerry Boydet's fault as he had contact and went to another contact, crashed into the wall and then Jeroen is out. Guide is the winner of the safety car. What? Only four people watching currently. Fourth safety car. This race, it means it's a record. <laughs> Wish you had more safety cars. Wish you had more safety cars. Just tell me. Well, I can't understand this, Miku. I can't understand. It's <laughs> like on the fourth place. No. If he's going to finish on it, it's going to be miracle. Let me call. Let me feel the standings right now with the DNF. The bunch of DNFs. Jasper is out. It's also Jerome out. No loser out. Pan Rabbit out. And Ferrari, of course. 
Seven DNFs. Seven DNFs. Okay, plausible the pits. Probably for the new softs. Because he has to put the soft. Same as Axe. And Lexa. Okay, no more people crushed. I'm right. <laughs> What's going on this race? I mean, just explain. By the way, I was going to go that we had 10 people at the beginning, now we have only 4. At the very finish of the race, where we have people fighting with the podium. Alvaro, good guy, Aisai, Edsex, Max Red Luke. And even if Gwen Lampanosa might fight, might, might fight for it. Who's going to finish on the podium today? This is the question to you. If Edsex is going to, them, to do the miracle. I would have been good. Well, shame. Because you had a chance. At least you're not last. <laughs> Just kidding. When safety car is going to, back, to go back to the pits, I guess it will wait until the rest, the people outside top 8 will come back. And they can add the traffic. By the way, invite people to the broadcast, please, because it's safety car, it's going to be very, very fantastic finish. Uh, another 100%. <laughs> okay. I would like a predictor or what? Or a seer or a physic or soothsayer or what does it mean? What? Anything what it means. It's going to be safety car in this lap. By the way, maybe get some. No, one more lap with other safety car. So, before, because of this, I'm going to check the penalties with you. Go get the three seconds. Because as you can see, so many five seconds, mostly from the drivers that are not going to finish the race. Okay. Lexa has a penalty, Thierry Poydat has a penalty, Penosa has a penalty, Poydat another penalty. Ferrari doesn't race anymore. Three seconds for Jerome, but he doesn't race. Three seconds for Penosa, three seconds for Maxo, three seconds for Edzex. Same as Thierry Boyd. Thierry Boyd is going to lose the most on it. Because he has nine seconds. But who's going to win? So dumb. This is so dumb. Weird. And only three people watching. This is again so damn weird. What's going on? But we're losing the popularity. We just got to check out the language setting and why it's on Polish when it's not supposed to be. No, it's British. Only three people watching the broadcast. I've seen two solo in it. Come on, guys! When we have three laps to go and it's full safety car. Just waiting for the race to restart. I think, Birdman Lider, it's time to go again. I cannot really predict who's going to be on the podium. Really, maybe. I'm just like. Maybe, maybe Allen for because it's going to be so damn mess. So damn messy, etc. etc. Okay, people are coming back. Does it mean that safety car is going to be in this lap? I don't know. Only 13 people to going. Chance for I said good guy for the first podium this season. For good guy, it's going to be first podium ever. Maybe even Edzax will push for it. <laughs> well, yes, 4th SC. It's in this lap. 
First one was because of Javier, second because of Jasper, then Ferrari and then Gero and, and that car Nash. Come on, come on Torosso and Lux and Kevko both having a chance for the party by the way. And we have only three laps after this restart. Come on! Let's do this! Let's have the best race ever we had! It's between Allen for good guy, I say Edzax Max or Luke. Yevko crash him! Five second time for that for now. It was brake testing, man. Allen World is now pushing, and this is the restart of the Belgian Grand Prix. Good guys doing to Lulus and not on it. It has damaged Protwick. Let's say disqualified because ignored the drive for penalty. So, so many bad luck for him. And that's overtaken very fast by Max Row. He's not pushing at all on the Yorush Radion. And this is why Luke is going to use on it. He's now fifth. This time finally. Also, Edzak's teammate Gniewko is just behind the Latvian. And Edzak's players I would put soft, like everyone. Penosa overtaken by Placendal, who also got 3 second time for multiple warnings. And so, I thought the good guy was Stuart. But Stuart is Ginger, just in case. Okay, Placendal fighting with Gniewko and he's taking the 7th place now. Going wheel to wheel, into 7th place he goes. In this rally we have... Everyone may fight for the points or even podium. But I'm for is a second head of good guy. The question is if I say... May go on the podium. But Max has a free second time penalty. I was like afraid that's golden. Yes. I don't know. I don't know Lex. I see your message on the chat. Okay, I say overtaking Penosa for the next place, they are going wheel to wheel. But Penosa seems to get before Axel on the bus stop. There was a contact between them, Allen goes with the fastest lap. And now Penosa is going wheel to wheel with his teammate, Jerry Bardet. Guys is watching it, hoping for them to crash and get that one point. The Mer both Mercedes were like, not. Friendly this time on the first corner. Okay, now he's faster than Thierry Boydet. He may overtake the Dutchman now. One or two. Lumao. Okay, guy that overtook. Thierry Boydet, they're going wheel to wheel by the way. Some contact, but he goes ahead. Also, Edzak's overtaken by his teammate, and he's also going to lose his former teammate. Which is Axe. And sector two yellow flags we got. And it's Jerry Boydet with a spin. He's ruining his chances for his point. By the way, I'm proceeding the race. Still, I sigh. Is going third just behind good guy. What about guy? He got three second time penalty, which may damage his chances for the point. Edzax may have wing damage now. From him to the hell because no, he doesn't get wing damage. It's just worn cards. Yes, he has them for the ten laps. Okay, let's see if I say can over. Okay, three second time penalty. It may damage his podium chances. Well, and penalty another three seconds. Now it's the last lap of the Grand Prix. It's going to be the RS enabled. Yes. Plasma will go the fastest lap on soft. So this is why he's it's a point for himself now. Go guy on the side of this straight. I said was very close to crash. Fortunately it didn't happen. Also Plasma was very close to Maxro. About to overtake the Frenchman. At the exactly second time penalty. And Plasma overtakes the championship contender! But Max Rue cutting the chicken completely, still behind, just to be fair. 
And also it's a heavy problem he spun! He went from almost the podium to actually nothing else white so he got south of it! Because he spun too! He has to get over his brother guy he is! And he's gonna do lose a lot, as you can see his wing damage, massive one! Letting his brother buy. Penos also overtook him. What about Thierry Boyd at the net? Uh, I don't know. But Allen is now close to win this race. Because. Okay, Max of third, plus number four, by the way. Plus book is wing damage. That's only one corner to go. What's now going to win this one? I say behind Dre Boyd it now. Allenver crosses the line. What is going on the bottom for the fifth? Jeff goes fourth. Fifth is Axe. Sixth is Guy. Seventh is Look. Eighth is plausible. Then we have William Penosa. And one point goes to three Boyded Ice. Another damage. But man. Just go get Zach with a point. I say at least ahead of Cherry Boyded. What this race was. My heart is beating so damn hard that I cannot understand. <laughs> Sorrow Rosso did people, but I don't know what I will do about Allen vs. Penalty and why people are going to the chat after the race. I also don't know this. This is so mad. Uh, like. <laughs> Gdevko isn't the top driver to be honest. He's not predicted to win Trey Everest. But he's going fourth. And he's Polish, so yeah. Like me. <laughs> what? <laughs> this race? I mean. Just needing to save the standings. Once again, I'll do that. Wow, Alvor, good guy, Maxro, Gniewko, Axe, Gaet, Luke, Plus Bull, Penosa and Edzax, that's the top 10, but also Isai and Terry Boy that may go. With the point time, if someone will get a penalty, and before I will lose the race win. <laughs> It's so mad. Okay, we're going to see some conference now because it's Alvor, it's good guy, and it's first was Maxro. Okay, press conference, press conference, and another drama in that language. We, uh, now it's between good guy and Alvor, not between Alvor and Plasm Ball. I have no words. I have no damn words. I'm just trying to avoid the cars, cars words because I literally cannot. Wow! Okay, what about the conference? Because I invited you guys. No one joins? Is that the best rate of the season? I guess. Okay, people are joining. Hello, Max. Hello, Anvor. Hello. Andy. Well done. Well uh, done, Max. You, I, you gave it away because you paid it for softs. Yeah. But, but uh, I thought the, the guys, the, the second set, the first safety car, I paid it. And I was on hard tire, but I saw your mechanics with the medium, so I switched on the last moment to mediums. Oh. Yeah. And then I uh, and then the second safety car came and you stayed <laughs> out. You stayed yeah. out on the second safety car or did you pit it on the second one? No, no, on the I pit the third. The one. Yes, the third. Sorry. You pit it and I I I did a dummy on the pit. Did you see it? I did a dummy on the pit. Yeah, I see. I see. You okay. were on plan to go onto the pit. Did you were planned to go or not? Was it because I did a dummy or something? 
What? Did you pay that? Was it on purpose to pay it on that on the third safety car or not? Yes. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I stayed out because I thought in no way you're gonna get uh, get back because they're, they're all the guys paid it on the second, so they are not gonna pay it again. So I stayed out, and that helped. And every time the safety car g uh, game away, I gained a second in the right like, right away. So I need to. I I have an important question to you, Oliver. Yes, ask me. About safety car restart the last one. I've seen a little brake test. And good no, I had done it to him. I didn't break check him. Okay. I, I it got the video. It was not on purpose. It was not on purpose to break check him. But anyway, he was second, so I don't. He is not. He didn't lose anything. Here. Let's good get ready to the rumble. So well. I I I I was off throttle, but I didn't break on the last safety car. But yeah, they have to watch out. I'm in front. Yeah, but and you honestly, funny, with funny the sport, second I'm safety car, the third safety car, you we break before the finish line. I did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't break. I didn't close for you. No, and you, did no, you but where uh, your wing was damaged then or not? No, not the, that one, but the the last one. I didn't do anything. The second I, I last one. The second last one or something. You. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I have to watch out. Be up. Uh, but I don't get give anyone damage, so it's okay, right? No, but the second last safety car, you um, after the last corner, you went on a throttle and then yeah, and then off throttle. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but everyone bunched up and yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they have to watch out. They are behind the car, so. So my question is about the safety cars. Were you prepared for the four safety cars? Where what did you say again, please? Were you prepared for the four safety cars? No, I didn't, but no. I was I thought I pit on lap four. I was the first safety car I pitted, I want to go to hearts, but I saw the mechanic crew of Max on the medium, so I switched late to medium tires. And then I thought uh, the, and the sir, second safety car, my mediums were brand new, so I thought I'm not gonna pit again. And then on the third, I did a dummy to Max to go to the pits, but I didn't. But Max was going anyway to the pit. But I thought if I pit, I will go back from the grid because the guys that on the second safety car pitted as well. So you have to overtake them all. And then I had luck with the fourth safety car. And then yeah, I. Uh, Every time the restart, I gained the second on the good guy because I was faster, <laughs> so he couldn't do anything. But yeah, I, it was not smart to pit. No, no, no. I was on soft. You're a medium, so I could overtake you. Yeah, you well, didn't. it would be possible. Yeah, because of the Every wing time the two restarts, you were behind me. I gained a second in the first or second yeah, sector you, straight away. Yeah, but I had wing damage because of you. Eh? Yeah, not on the uh, second safety car. On the last, you had wing damage, but not yeah. on the third one. No. Yeah, and then I gained a second as well, so... I didn't break check you, but anyway, you are were not... Was behind you had three second uh, time penalty, so you were, were not gonna make it... You so... Yeah, I didn't... If you get it. a five second penalty of it, because you uh, contact with the safety car... I had this five uh, uh, second penalty as well, um, because someone bunched behind me in the uh, back of me because he broke too late and I had a 5 second time penalty for that no, I'm not and you did get it I didn't and, uh, fuck anyone so and uh, I'm pretty lucky for this uh, this podium the 4th and 3rd um, crash between us crash so yes crash oh, oh. friends <laughs> In French. In France, yeah. we crashed. Yes. <laughs> we crashed. Okay. And, um, I'm. Um, what I want to say? How many lap um, did we make under safety car? Yeah, I maybe we have to send them out. Yeah, but on Monaco there were two, uh, one safety car in a virtual or two. No, no, no safety car, only virtual. Yeah. But no the safety. first lap, you just send it in the. 
Yeah, I send it because I thought if I didn't yeah, do that, Max will be away. Late. Way too late. No, but I didn't hit you or something. No, no. Well, I turned in and you came. Uh, okay, if you report, if you will report that, I'm I will okay with it. Yeah, but the safety I car is always yours, so yeah, uh, it's Ferrari uh, things, Fiat Ferrari things with you guys. Okay, what? guys. No, uh, it's not. <laughs> Another question, which race was actually better? It, it was Australia or Belgium? Australia, that was not a fun race because Plausen fucked mine, so... <laughs> At least you won in the end. No, it was my... No, Luke. I didn't won in the end, Luke won in the end. Yes, but you were at least ahead. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, the best race for me, but where I had the most fun, was Canada, I think. Or Chino invite plausible. Uh... Yeah, we suggest them then. What's happening in Canada? <laughs> what do you? What was your funniest race, Max? Till now, I think Canada. My speed. Um, honestly, Monaco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you won. <laughs> because I did him. Yes. Yeah. But On the uh, 21 we... lap, I thought I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna take the win home. I thought you you backed off massively. I don't know why, Max. What did, did you do? I think I thought you were. I thought I said to myself, if you overtake Atsack straight away, and then can get in the slipstream of the guys, you maybe have a chance. But yeah, the, the Ford safety car fucked it up. There's one. The um, the Mercedes broke my front wing. So. I yeah. What happened uh, with yeah. uh, the Niso? What happened with him? Did the good guy uh, hit him or something? Spin. Just a spin. He spun. He spun. Oh my God! Crack over okay, pressure. I will write them after the after the conference. But any questions about driver of the day? Some examples uh, like uh, you know the podiums, but some good some uh, decent performances from Gniewko and Axe, P4 yes, and P5. Yes, he's, he's pretty strong in the in the gym. And uh, he broke uh, from twin he, so too many uh, two time and uh, he he don't. Uh, I don't know, driver of the day, but I, is there a thing in the standings where we can see who was driver of the day that race? Uh, question, uh, we'll look at the question who was in the top three, it was first was Alan was second, good guy third, Max Rowe. Might change. <laughs> but, I'm second. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Butinho, is there in standings, can... On the end of the season, maybe it's funny to see who was driver of the day of any of every race. Maybe you have to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, a standing uh, of the. Yeah, yeah the standing. Well, you know, can you fight plausible? Uh, yeah, on the end. Later yeah, yeah. after the conference. Uh, but anyway, any predictions about British Grand Prix? No, I, well, I, I don't. Speak I don't about a better track for me than. Uh, yeah, I'm, I like the track, but yeah, it's a yeah. slipstream track, so it doesn't make. Uh, oh, otherwise, on the quality, it makes a difference how fast you are, but on the race, if you can get uh, in the DRS, quali, it's I, easy to follow. In quality, I do a 126.0. Okay, guys. Almost every time. Thank you, okay, for, the, thank you for the race, thank you for the conference, and what I can say. See you next week. Goodbye. Yes.